It's Pin Tam Z, y'all. We official all here, gang gang in this thing. So let me first off say that I never meant to reject her. I was young. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I didn't know how to be a dad. Somebody told me that notching women on my belt was the definition of being a man. I made her. That was the definition of being a man. I won't use that as an excuse. And the story I shall tell should not be an excuse either, but please understand. I didn't mean to reject her. It's just that what lies upon these lines is who I am, who I was, and who I'm probably never gonna forget. I'm a whore. I lust for her, I love her. I need, want, and fiend for her. But her who equals she is no one specific. Her insides are what I long for. Her kiss, her touch, her smile, only prerequisites. Prerequisites I allow myself to enjoy because they allow her mind to enjoy the fact that once skeptical, she can now relax. And once relaxed, she is a victim, a victim of circumstance, a victim of lust and the need for me to fulfill personal desires, a victim of a whore. To the general public, I'm depicted as he, he who loves her, he who cherishes her, he who adores and appreciates everything about her. He who will never let her fall until she does. Because in actuality, I'm an animal. A predator who preys on the feelings she has developed because I've convinced her that the broken heart from her last relationship that's a mere stepping stone in the journey to the pinnacle called us. I'm a savage. A savage who feeds. Feeds on the fact that because I'm a good father, I have a decent job and my mentality far exceeds my peers. That shit turns you on. Instead of boppers, I'm an ignorant nigga. An ignorant nigga who brags that all it took was a blunt in the bottle to take what God gave you as your most prized possession. My baby, I'm a whore. In all honesty, the prerequisites for a mention I would love to enjoy. To have someone to hold in love. To know there is someone, no matter time or place, who holds you as their number one possession. But every time I have those thoughts or the feeling brushes my soul, the cannibalistic side of me that longs for a vagina in my mouth asks my simplistic side, my nigga, are you fucking crazy? So yes, I'm a whore, an addict, a lustful lover, a mere mortal whose penis has a cannibalistic attitude, a deceiver of emotions, a truthful liar. I'm an oxymoron that actually makes sense. I'm a whore. The fingertips that tiptoe up your thigh and the sweet nothings in your ear, the passionate love we make and the occasional times I put my face between your legs for no reason, that shit means nothing. Because as much as we both enjoyed it, your emotions dictate how you feel, how you react to who you are with me. But in all honesty, to me, you're not a slut, not a bopper, nor someone who should be disrespected. But unfortunately, you're simply a conquest in my own television very feature. A conquest in the television. And if you don't know who Pentam Z is, you probably live under a rock.